Well, we are going to start one topic again. That name is DHCP. So in our last videos, we have done so many practical, but I forgot to let you know about this topic that is very important, which name is dynamic post configuration protocol. Actually, dynamic host configuration protocol is used to provide is used to provide IP address automatically. Automatically, mainly to LAN device, automatically to LAN devices. But yes, with the help of DHCP, you can provide IP address to router also. Like if you want to use, then you can provide. Okay, so DHCP is a very easy process. Uh, like in this, we have to make one router as a DHCP. Okay, have to make that router as a DHCP. And I think some students have done this uh, topic before. <clears throat> and DHCP via router and DHCP via server also. But okay, if anyone missed this topic, so this video is for you. Okay, what do you have to do actually? In DHCP via router process, you have to create one pool of IP address. And in that pool of IP address, you have to configure a network and a default gateway. Yes, if you have DNS server, <clears throat> if you have DNS server, then with the help of DHCP, you can provide DNS also. So it is a very easy topic, very small topic. So I have to start it with the practical. So I'm going to open Cisco Packet Tracer for you. And I'm going to make one small design for you. One router, one switch, and PCs. One, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> so here I'm going to perform DHCP via router. Same as in another practical one, two, three, four. I will perform DHCP via server. So you can perform DHCP via server also. Okay. So also we need IP uh, router with this. So I need one more switch to connect all the devices. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So let's, let's start with DHCP via router process. So what to do? First of all, you need to provide IP address to your gateway. Like which IP address, it's up to you. I need one, two, three, four, and five IP address. So on this, I'm going to choose slash 29, <clears throat> interface FA zero by zero. IP address like 200, 0, 0, 248. I have chosen random IP address here. No shut down. Random IP address I have chosen. And that IP address is 200 001 255 255 248. Okay. Now, what to do? We have to put the syntax IP DHCP pool and pool's name. So I'm going to give pool name CCNA. Now, what is my default gateway? 200.0.0.1. So you have to put command here, default router. Default router is 200.0.0.1. Okay. And network is 200.0.0.0 because you are using this network ID. So your practical is done. For example, in your... Uh, Practical, you have one DNS server also. And that DNS server IP is, uh, I'm putting random IP address. Like for example, my DNS IP is 60.0.0.1. So in DHCP, you have to give 60.0.0.1 or two like this. So this is your command. <clears throat> what you have done, copy. And a notepad I have opened. First, you have to give IP address to your gateway. 
And after that, for DHCP configuration, you have to make one pool, default gateway, network, and DNS server. So what is the benefit for this? You don't have to give manual static IP address here. You can click on DHCP and automatic IP address and DNS is provided. You can click on second PC, 2003, 2004. And after that, you have to give 200.005. Okay, 200.005. Now we know that in slash 29, we have six valid IP. We have only six IP. So for example, I have chosen one more PC there. I have chosen one more PC and here I have clicking on DHCP 200.006. But if I am choosing another IP like seventh IP here and I have given seventh IP, you are not able to give okay okay sorry uh, my window was closed okay so where I, where i was like if you use like seventh seventh pc like sixth pc because five pc you have used and sixth ip is for gateway if you are using another ip for this we don't have any DHCP address available right now. So DHCP will be failed. And if DHCP failed, a PIPA address is being used. Automatic private IP addressing is being used. And for a PIPA address, a PIPA is automatic private IP address. That is the range 169 It is the reserved range for letting us know that your DHCP is failed. Okay, understand the concept. So this is a DHCP via router. Now, for example, you want to perform DHCP via server. So I have made one design. In DHCP via server, it is very easy process uh, because in this I have to provide IP address to router and DHCP server only. So I'm going to give IP address here, F0 by zero. I have given 192.168.1.1, 48, no shutdown. So this is my 1.1 .1 is my gateway. 192.168.1.1, Okay. And DHCP server IP is because I want to make this server as a DHCP server now. Now I don't want to make it as a HTTP or DNS. I want to make this server as a DHCP server. So first of all, manually, you have to provide IP address to server because you have to give it manually. Why? Because it is going to perform automatic IP address. So 192.168.1.1. Understand? And if you want to provide DNS, because DNS is same in this. Now, if you want to perform DHCP via server, you don't need to put any pool on router. In DHCP, you just click on DHCP server, services, DHCP, and click the services on. Okay? Pool name is already made. If you want to make new pool, it's up to you, but no need for that. What is your default gateway? 192.168.1.1. What is your DNS server? 60001. Uh, just save the configuration. Done. Your practical is done. Now click on PC. You will get IP address automatically through server also. So DHCP via server is also very easy process. Understand the concept? So this is all about your DHCP. So DHCP is used to provide automatic IP address to your PC. And if you want to make a routing concept and you can connect this, you can make new, new IP address here and you can connect with those uh, networks with each other with the help of routing. So your DHCP practical is done. Okay, so thank you so much.